Hey guys, this is uh my new cuckoo clock. Sorry about the fan noise. I have an air purifier and a fan going on the draw off the Bim Bam Mantle clock that I just serviced. Uh, this one is kind of grimed up. It works fine. Got for $39 at an antique shop. But I'll be servicing it just in case. Yes, um, as it has the very common blue, white, I, uh, and red beak, eek, uh, and red beak, eek, and red beak, sorry for my stuttering. Here, I might as well let you hear it now. Uh, and this is this is a pretty old one, but unlike the super old ones, this one does not use a count wheel, and it uses an actual rack. Anyways, <coughs> let me show you the back of the clock. And action. Uh, and uh, here, uh, every and back, guys. Uh, Here's the back. Is the little gong? Excuse me. Sorry for my uh, gross, gross looking foot there. As you can see, uh, the, uh, and does not have a count wheel. Bellows are in really good shape. They're just a little dusty, which makes them kind of look like they're not in, the, which kind of makes them look like they're in terrible shape. But they're just a little dusty. And something that I've got, uh, is unusual about this clock is how the, how, uh, how the bellow, this, the paper on the bellow, I don't know if it's paper, I think it's paper, but with, with like the, usually it's black, the black thing, and then the white little crack thingies, white little cracks, X, and then, but this one, it, or, but this one actually has pink little cracks, so it's black and pink. Anyways, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the coupling from the back. Second. <coughs> One second. And let me just put on this. One second. And <coughs> sorry for the shaking. show a, a back shot of the gong lifting but you guys can let me know if you want to see the other not all right bye